The Las Vegas Raiders have signed cornerback David Long Jr. And I want to talk about this. Uh, 25 years old. Has a lot of upside, especially in the Patrick Graham scheme and system. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, but David Long is a four-year veteran in the NFL. About to enter year five. Really just started the past two years. Before that, he was more of a special teams player. Uh, but he started the last two years. And in those two years, he's allowed two touchdowns. But he also has two interceptions. So over the last two years, spent a lot of time in coverage. Uh, has has been pretty good in my opinion. Now, uh, obviously, he'll be an outside corner for the Raiders. Uh, you know, Nate Hobbs will likely jump back to the inside and be a full-time nickel. And then David Long will likely jump to the outside. But I think for the Raiders, this is a, a low-risk, high-reward type of uh, player. It's a one-year contract. The guy's 25 years old. Uh, first time for him where he's entering this new scheme and system. And Patrick Graham fits this guy a little bit better than than the Rams, or especially over the last two years. Uh, this guy was in a much more zone-heavy scheme, um, which didn't benefit him all that much, right? And for the Raiders, he's not in a zone scheme. Right? Patrick Graham loves to run a lot of uh, mixed man coverages. Um, so for me, when I look at David Long, I think it's a pretty solid pickup. Obviously, uh, the cap portion of this is going to be the big part, right? How much did the Raiders pay David Long? Uh, you know, if we paid this guy $7 million, obviously that's not going to be worth it, but something tells me it's, you know, two, three million or less, right? I don't think it's going to be that high of a cap hit. At this point, the Raiders are just bringing in a bunch of role players, a bunch of depth players, uh, and David Long just comes to the Raiders, and it, it, I really think this guy has a chance to start. Um, you can make the argument after Nate Hobbs, assuming Rocky Hussein doesn't come back, David Long may be that next corner for the Raiders, right? Which kind of tells you that the Raiders also need to draft and potentially hit on the cornerback. Uh, some people think the Raiders may get a corner with that seventh overall pick. Um, and I tend to agree, right? It, it, unless Jalen Carter is there, um, you may at that point just go cornerback. Christian Gonzalez, Devin Witherspoon. Uh, you, you're going to just go with one of those guys, in my opinion, unless Jalen Carter's there. Uh, because I don't think the Raiders are going to get a quarterback. And if you don't get Jalen Carter, I think you actually have a legit need at the corner position. Uh, to me, the Raiders have to get better in the secondary. I like David Long. But David Long has kind of shown us already what he is over the course of his career. Generally speaking, when a guy's going to be you know, a superstar player, you know it in the first four years. right? You, you Generally speaking... A top five player at his position, you know in year one, right? You knew Justin Jefferson was a superstar. You knew Jalen Ramsey was a superstar. Even Aaron Donald, right? His first year, you knew this guy was special. Um, and David Long has been in the league for four years. So although I don't expect him to be special, I do expect him to be a solid rule and depth player for the Raiders, which is something we need, right? So uh, we'll see what ends up happening. I think he fits Patrick Graham's scheme a little bit better than some guys we've had in the past. Um, obviously the Raiders are still trying to fill out the roster. Uh, they're trying to get, obviously a lot of the guys are going to be, um, rookies that will fill up the rest of the roster. Right. But, uh, they're trying to see who's going to be able to, uh, come here and have some success. So I'm fired up, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.